Okay, now, a force acting on a particle varies with x in the figure below. Calculate the work done by the force on the particle as it moves from 0 to 6 meter. Okay, so this is a, uh, why I can say this is uh, force, sorry, force uh, displacement graph. Uh, force displacement graph, that means the area under the graph is, what is it? What is the area under the graph? The work done, uh, yeah? the area under the graph is the work done, uh, okay? So, the work done is actually area under force displacement graph, okay? Force displacement graph. So, uh, he want to find the work done from 0 to 6. Alright? So, work done is area under, okay? Uh, under the force displacement graph, yeah, area under the force displacement graph. So, uh, work done, work done from x equal to zero to six. Huh? from uh, work done from what? From zero to six. Uh, work done from zero to six. That means the area of the whole graph, area of the whole graph. Uh, so it is trapezium. So use a trapezium. No need to use square plus triangle. If we got a shortcut. To find the area of trapezium, why not use a shortcut, isn't it? You, you know how to find the trapezium area? Half times, first of all, times with the height. Height of uh, the trapezium is 5. And then plus, and then multiply by, uh, these two parallel surfaces added up together. This parallel surface, so uh, this part is uh, 4 meter, and this, the long part is 6 meter. Uh, so, it is 4 plus 6. Uh, 4 plus 6. So, what's the answer? Okay. 4 plus, uh, so, calculate the answer and see. So, uh, 10 not by 5, divided by 2. So, I got 25. 25 Joule. Uh, that's it. Yeah. Area under the graph is work done. Area under the force displacement graph is uh, work done. Uh, so you can put this as the displacement can be as x or can be as s uh, can be x or s so it's the same thing yeah it's correct the answer thank you